Hey you! Yeah you! Did you hear that there was a Rugrats reboot? Did you hear how terrible the art style is? How awful everything looks! How they ruined the parents by changing the voice actors! How it's just missing that, mm, that spark that made classic Rugrats so great! Okay, so yeah, the Rugrats reboot is out, and if you think I'm late to the party, well, welcome to the channel, buckaroo. That's the name of the game. To be fair, it wasn't actually my fault for once. Paramount Plus has only just come to Australia. You know, old Australia. We only just got the internet last week. Been uh, pushing for microwaves to make their way over the channel for like a year now. Still fighting off the wild kangaroo population. Now for me, I wasn't really interested in watching the show illegally. I'm not about that gangster life. For the reason that I am kind of a huge advocator for these reboots and returns to older franchises that Nickelodeon has been delving into recently. I've been a big supporter of these things happening and as a result of that, I've kind of got to put my money where my mouth is in terms of what I support and what I want to see more of. So I waited till I could pay the monthly subscription to get access to this show. Also, I don't want to pay for a virus blocker to be able to, you know, watch it on some scary dark website like, I don't know, Vimeo. But hey, Paramount Plus is great. It's got all grown up. That show is the bomb, alright? Okay, fight me. I've been keeping an eye or two on all this Rugrats reboot stuff for a while now, and I've been finding the reception, it's gotten pretty interesting, because it kind of shows an interesting way that, you know, the old uh, Nickelodeon fans have handled these reboots. In a very mature and well thought out way, I assure you. <laughs> Now, in my opinion, the only bad thing the show really does is make Susie the same age as the rest of the cast. For me, it takes away her authority and her ability to go head-to-head -head with Angelica, which was mm, just about the most important part of her character. Now that she doesn't have that, she doesn't really have a purpose to actually be part of the crew. She doesn't bring anything to the table that the other characters don't already do. Basically, she's just a plus one. RIP to all the children who will never know how cool Susie used to be for standing up to Angelica. I do miss Kimmy and Dill. They were both, like, my favourite characters as a kid, but... Other than that, the CGI is pretty dope. I grew up watching Jimmy Neutron and never batting an eye to CGI, so these shows don't really bother me in that way. Basically what I'm saying is once you've seen the seventh layer of hell, which is some classic Jimmy Neutron stills, you can suffer through anything. 2D is still my preference, but eh, this is the way Nickelodeon's heading, so I guess you gotta deal with it. Especially with the new SpongeBob movie on the way. Great. After the last one was just so good. It's just so good. The changes to the parents was a bit of a shock, even knowing that they were recast didn't stop the surprise, but like, the rest of the show, you get used to it. I like Gamer Stu, I love Grandpa, he's very different, but honestly, we got nine seasons of these characters as they were, a change is necessary if you want to tell even remotely different stories. What I did find pretty cute, actually, was how as soon as the rest of my family heard that there was more Rugrats out, we all kind of just, like, congregated together to watch an episode each night as we caught up. My older brother and sister are in their 30s and watched the original growing up, so I inherited their VHSs of the original when I was a kid. My brother is much closer in age to me, and the two of us watched all grown up and the movies all the time growing up. So this reboot it brought us all around the table each night to watch the next episode, and we really enjoyed it. Yes, it is weird. We spent years with these characters as they were, and this is like a weird parallel world version, but hey, we enjoyed it. I think the reception I've seen is interesting, though. I am definitely interested to hear your opinion on the show though we can chat about it in the comments because I haven't seen a heap of just general people's opinions so I would love to yeah hear that I'd go on to reddit but reddit scares me but what I've seen a lot is the concept that there is a spark missing from this version that made the original so good and I couldn't possibly disagree with that idea more as far as I'm concerned, that is the idea that will corrupt and ruin your viewing experience and, as far as I'm concerned, invalidate your ability to critique the show. Here's the thing. I'm all for criticism of media. I believe it is so important, especially for things that you love and enjoy. You should criticize it. You should break down to me how the change in art style damages the show's ability to be whimsical and capture imagination the way it once did, and I'll be more than happy to debate that with you. Explain how Susie changing her age breaks one of the best character dynamics in the show. We can chat about that further. Explain how making the parents millennials and removing Howard damages the possible plots. I'd love to discuss that further. But saying the spark isn't there? Like, 
What? The special some the secret sauce just isn't there. I encourage reboots and revivals and return seasons of shows. Basically because I want season 6 of All Grown Up, my favourite 2D animated show, next to Over the Garden Wall and behind Chowder and Gravity Falls. And also because I want a finale to Jimmy Neutron. But what always frustrates me is when people spend years campaigning and begging for these shows to come back and then a small but vocal group of nostalgia blind people complain that it just isn't the same. The spark isn't there. Now, will this reboot have incredible episodes like Chucky's Wonderful Life? Probably not. It'll have its own great episodes for however long it runs. To say it's missing that spark is honestly just attacking a show because it's different while ignoring the fact that you aren't a 10 year old anymore. You're an adult. Of course the show is different. It can never be classic Rugrats. It's trying not to be. That's why it's changed the parents, changed the dynamics for better and for worse. Rugrats is trying to move forwards and complaining that it isn't the same is honestly nonsensical at this point. Hello. So, uh, extra little bit of this video. I thought, you know, it could be interesting just to go through some user reviews and kind of just chat about them a little bit because it's pretty interesting. It's pretty... <laughs> I feel like it fits quite strongly with my idea here. It is interesting though to see how much there's a there's a very large divide. There's a lot of people who seem to really hate it. Hate it. Uh, but I thought we could kind of go over some of the stuff they talked about. So first one comes from Amaz. Ah no, spoiler warning. A two out of ten. Strong opinions. I'm honestly so glad that I'm not the only one who's not happy about the reboot. To be honest, I understand the majority of the voices may have, have to change, but I am kind of upset that they didn't even try to match the voices. i have kind of upset that they changed a lot and they removed Howard Betty's husband. It kind of gave that stay-at-home dad feel and the mum was the breadwinner in the original, but I get what they were going for, but I feel like they could have added another character, kind of like when they introduced Dill and Kimmy and I'm waiting for Grandpa Lou to say one of his old quotes. Okay, I'm not going to read through all of them because it's going to go for quite a while. This does. This is one of the only ones out there that uh, is overly, you know, gives some actual reason for why they just they don't like it. A lot of it for me, my kind of problem with a lot of these is that it falls into yeah again, it's not the original Rugrats, and that's where the dislike for it comes from. And of course, an argument can be made. It's a reboot of Rugrats and that type of stuff, so it should fit as closely to the original as possible, whereas I'm much more of the opinion of it's not the original. It's actively trying to not be the original with new character dynamics, taking out old characters, changing new characters and that type of stuff. And so you can judge it on the fact that it's not the original, but an argument can also be made for the fact that it is not the original. So a different view has to be taken. But this is I feel like this is a rather probably a pretty common concept of the fact that it's not the original and it's a reboot of the original and banking of the fact that we all love the original and so as a as a result of that should do more to be like the original. That is a, I I feel like that's a pretty um fair problem to have with it. Yeah again it does fall back on that whole thing of it's not like the original. I'm gonna fix my webcam. What's wrong with my webcam? Awful. Nicholas Farrell. Where do I begin? The animation is terrifying. The storyline is awful and the characters have whole new personalities. I presume they're talking about the parents. This is nothing like the 90s show. That's what it's going for because it's set not in the 90s. The animation is terrifying. Have you ever watched a CGI movie? The storylines are awful. They're just about exactly the same as the types of stories that were in the original show. Oh, yeah, okay. It's the, you know, they're very similar to the original stories. To say they're awful, I, it starts to get into nostalgia blind criteria for me. But anyway, this one is for, uh, this one, man, this is a long, jeez. Yask Sistine with a uh, four out of 10. I respect you. Yeah, you know, an actual essay. I'm not gonna read it. I'm sure it makes some good and interesting points. I'm not going to read that's too much. Dinner's like 10 minutes away. I think the voice acting is pretty great. Like, yeah, it's completely different, but like people seem to be saying that it's bad voice acting. Like, I think they're doing a, they're doing a good job. I don't think it's anything to do with that. They're just, they're just different. Two out of 10, please just stop. So many things wrong with this reboot. It's just done poorly. And quite frankly, it's boring. Kids lost interest real quick. Let your kids go play Fortnite. That's all they want to do. Um, yeah. I know. I think another argument that I don't, I just don't really 
see is that it's the show's been done badly or like the CGI is bad. Like, have you seen Camp Coral? Like the CGI in the Rugrats reboot is so much better than so much CGI out there for these shows. Like it's done really quite well in comparison to everything else. Like done poorly? No. While I can live with the CGI and the voices, the rest is a mockery of what this show was. Completely missed the mark. Send this to cancellation. Well, it's hard to really discuss that when you don't elaborate on it. So the CGI is, you can live with the CGI and you can live with the different voices. The rest is, what's changed then? If you're okay with the new voices and you're okay with the CGI, or at least you, know, you can deal with the CGI and the new voices, what else is different that's the problem? Pre this is the one, this is the one that's, that got me to record this. Preschool days is better. Yuck. What is this? Abomination. The animation is awful and unlikable. Unlike preschool days, even though Rugrats preschool days lasted four episodes, it was better than this. My man. My man. Pre... The animation is awful and unlikable. Unlike preschool days. You... You're making this very difficult to talk to you about this, man. And my man. Six Flags Great America AF. I miss all grown up. That, what a name. Uh, one out of ten. I miss all grown up. My man, so do I. So basically, if you read through this, there's a few, there's a few like positive ones. Please be open minded and all that. And um, as you go down, there are more positive ones. All the ones at the top are like one out of ten. Um, the most uh, clear and apparent thing to me is people don't like the CGI, which is interesting to me because clearly. Nickelodeon must think people like the CGI. Like, I prefer 2D animation as, as well, of course. But people... Nickelodeon clearly must think people like the CGI, or at least kids like the CGI enough that it's, ch like, a worthy thing to change. Like, yes, if it's... Obviously, the CGI has gone to a point where it's now cheap enough to do these shows like this. And it's probably great because you can make one model of Squidward, one model of SpongeBob, and then just keep reusing them. So it's obviously gone to a point where it's cheap, but Nickelodeon doesn't just make these decisions on like, oh, whim. Like they've done research and all that, and clearly it's not a big enough change or kids are okay with it to keep, you know, watching even though it's um, CGI. So I'm surprised there's so many people who are really quite against it, considering it's done very well in the show. Like, yeah, it's got a few problems. CGI is never perfect, especially with the budgets that they have here, but it's done better than 90% of shows out there. Voice acting is obviously different, and I think that's where some people of these reviews clearly get into the whole nostalgia thing of it's not the same, and yet again, the debate can be made that it's a reboot relying on nostalgia and love for the original, and so should align itself close with the original, and there's also the argument that because it's a reboot, it's a new show with new dynamics and all that type of stuff, and it's trying very hard to be new, and therefore should be allowed that leniency in how it represents its characters, and I, yeah, you can swish swash to whichever one you you think is more yes yes anyway well there you have it so those are my thoughts i'm by no means saying that you can't criticize this show or there aren't problems with it there clearly are and there's clearly quite a bit of backlash towards it what i'm saying is we need to actually have better debates about the show outside of just it doesn't fit with my nostalgia or i don't like it because it's different like i feel like those have no place in an actual conversation about the quality of the show because the quality of the show is quite high but there are issues with it clearly and i am quite excited to see where the rest of the season goes and how it develops and changes but yeah there you go Look, Mum, I used big words. Aren't you proud of me? Ah. BJ says to stop calling him Mum. Anyway, Mum says the only way she'll be happy with this channel is if you leave a comment telling me what your hot take is on the reboot so far. And also watch this here video about how I all grown up is a fantastic show that people hate on way too much. Anyway, off to the shadow realm I go to wait for more Rugrats episodes and to work through Breaking Bad. Good show, you already know that, so I don't need to talk about it. Anyway, subscribe and buy some sunscreen. It's almost not winter here. You're gonna need it. All right, bye.